All right, guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and I think a little bit fun, at least in my opinion. And that is that we're going to be going over EDC and namely my first attempt at a blacked out EDC. Now, I have plenty of EDC gear and typically speaking, when it comes to EDC in general, I usually just pick whatever I feel like carrying on a given day, whether that's a knife, a gun, a multi-tool, a pen. I have so much stuff that usually I don't necessarily color coordinate things, but I thought it would be a fun idea to actually make a color coordinated EDC. And honestly, this is pretty realistic to what I would or could carry on a given day. This is all stuff that I really love, really enjoy. And this is going to be, like I said, a genuine, honest to God, blacked out EDC. Everything here is is mostly black. There's a few, you know, kind of colorations of things, but for the most part, everything's blacked out. So it should be pretty cool. So if you guys are, you guys can already see this, I'm painting to my secondary angle where you guys can see the whole enchilada of everything in my blacked out EDC. Now, to be fair, there are some things that I cannot, or at least have not blacked out. Things like my phone, still the same. Things like my watch, as you guys can tell, still the same. I'm not gonna go full bore on like totally black out every single thing, but for most of the EDC, this is going to be blacked out. So <clears throat> first off, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the biggest part of this. And the thing that I honestly like the most, and it is blacked out entirely, and that is the Springfield Prodigy. Now this is a new handgun to me. It's fairly new. It's, it came out about a year ago, a little bit less than a year, but it came out about a year ago. And it has been one of those guns that I've really been thinking about checking out and buying. So I finally bit the bullet, quite literally, and got the Springfield Prodigy. Now hopefully you guys can see this thing in all, this thing in all of its beauty here. And look at this just overall, I think very pretty very pretty handgun in my opinion so of course for those who don't know the Springfield Prodigy is a double stack 1911 so that gives it some pretty cool unique benefits it's definitely more along the lines of a 2011 in the fact that you also have you know an optics cut forward slide serrations and of course like I said it is double stack so the way I have it configured for my EDC personally right now, I'm running it with the 20 round magazine that comes in the box. It is a little bit longer, but I love the fact that this is a 20 round magazine. So 20 plus one, obviously 21 rounds total. And that makes it a pretty freaking crazy package. If you ask me something like this, being able to rock 20 plus one rounds is insane. And of course, for those wondering, the rounds are unfortunately not blacked out, but these are are <clears throat> these are underwood ammo or um who is it lehigh defenses extreme penetrator bullet and like i said this is underwood ammos plus p charge of a 115 um extreme penetrator so pretty darn cool bullets themselves but 20 of these things 21 of these things insane it does also get a little bit crazier because <clears throat> We also have a 17 round magazine to follow. So this is going to be the backup magazine, which kind of sounds ridiculous, but for now I don't have any extra mags. So I will probably end up pairing a 20 and a 20, but for now I just have the or 17 round, sorry, magazine here. And then I have the 20 round magazine there. So these will also have the um, Underwood ammo slash Lehigh defense extreme penetrator in them as well. So lots of firepower there, tons of ammo. It's almost ludicrous to be honest, but I thought it, it does fit. It is blacked out. It is cool. So that is the gun. Of course, I should also mention the optic on this is the Vortex Viper. I am probably going to end up changing that out. You guys are seeing the early stage of the build for this gun. And um, I won't talk about it too much in this video, but just to brief allude um, I will probably put another red dot on there it's just the vortex viper is the only thing that I have that's compatible with the base plate that the prodigy comes with out of box so I literally just got the handgun so I'm just setting it up in an introductory fashion to have 
a red dot on it because I do prefer shooting handguns with red dots. So subject to change. Anyways, we'll go move on from the, the handgun. <clears throat> All right, digging into the knives, if you will. So the first one off, once again, blacked out is the BTG or Black Triangle Group Senka. So this is, like I said, so I was saying, this is the BTG or Black Triangle Group Senka. This is what they call a G10 tool. However, we all kind of know it is a stabby pokey kind of tool. So I'm gonna just throw this one in with the knives. But like I said, G10 tool, this is a BTG Senka. I really do love it. It is very much a special purpose tool for me. It's not something that goes everywhere, but it is very nice and very handy to have. On top of that too, <clears throat> on top of that too, is a pretty cool, pretty nifty, just little guy and once again fits very well the whole blacked out theme of the video. So that is the BTG Black Triangle Group Senka. Now, like I said, now moving on to the proper knife of the video, this is the Emerson Knives Bulldog. Now, I wanted to throw the Bulldog in here primarily because I just thought it was a cool knife. It's one of my newer pickups as well, but I've just been rocking it, digging it, and it just so happens, once again, to be blacked out. It has, technically, it may not, in the video especially, look super blacked out, depending on how the way the light hits it, but it is definitely blacked out, and this is, uses um, Emerson's proprietary thunderstorm finish. So it's basically a black DLC coating and on top of that DLC coating it has been stone washed So it gives it a really cool thunderstorm kind of look to it or at least that's what they call it And it is pretty cool. Like I said, this is the Bulldog by Emerson So pretty cool once again blacked out so it fits it works I do have plenty of knives that would also technically fit this I was originally thinking in this video to go with the Protec Malibu, which my Malibu is also blacked out, but I thought why not throw the Emerson in here because it's just cool and it fits. <laughs> All right, next one up is going to be the Titanium Pen or the Thai Click Pen by Big Idea Designs. And once again, this one I threw in here just because it is a blacked out pen and it is titanium. I don't tend to run this pen as much as other pens, um, but it is totally cool. And once again, as you guys can see, I mean, I say I don't tend to run this as much as others, but you can see there is plenty of carry wear on this guy. So I, I do carry it. Um, I just tend to rock my um, smooth precision pen a little bit more than the click pen. All right, moving into the next couple ancillary tools, we have the a flashlight, of course, here it's not even really something that I wouldn't run. This is literally my everyday flashlight, and I think it goes to show there is so much wear on this thing. But this is the Phoenix LD30, and it just it works. What can I say? It's my everyday carry flashlight, pretty much always. However, I will say most of my flashlights, if not all of them, are already blacked out, or at least you know, originally some of them were pretty worn. So I think all of my flashlights would technically fit the bill. Next one up is my red and black Zippo. Pretty old school, not gonna lie, but this one is pretty cool. And um, I wanna say this is my, yeah, this is my oldest Zippo. It's a 2012 and uh, yeah, it definitely shows some carry wear. As you guys can see, it's not entirely black because some of the paint's been chipped off, but it is blacked out for the most part. So this is my blacked out Zippo. All right, finally kind of coming into the last leg of it, we have the wallet. And for the wallet though, I don't know, I don't tend to run my Trayvax Summit as much anymore. I still love Trayvax products, they are great, they're just fine. I just really like my Open Seas leather wallets a little bit more, but the Trayvax Summit would be my choice for a blacked out EDC. To be honest, like I said, I probably would still end up carrying one of my um, Open Seas leather wallets, but if I am just going for cards, the Trayvax Summit is pretty darn cool. And once again, it is blacked out. So pretty darn cool wallet. Of course, for me, I just keep um, some like gift cards in here primarily because there's nothing special about them that are reused. So in case you guys are wondering, those aren't actually my real cards that don't show my real cards um, on video too much. So anyways, the last one up and once again, blacked out is legitimately one of my favorite EDC multi-tools ever. And that is the G10 uh, edition of the Charge Plus. This is the earth colored one. So it's technically black and 
brown, but I would say black, obviously, as you can see, is the predominant color here. All the tools, all the knives, like all, all of the things in this uh, tool here are black oxide finished. And then of course, I said you have the black and brown G10 handles. So very cool, fits with the theme of the EDC. And just honestly, like I said, something I realistically, genuinely carry. And once again, to be clear, I'm not just making a blacked out EDC video. This is just, um, this is stuff like that I legitimately carry. It's just what I carry all at one time. Potentially, there is certain potential for that, but um, I probably wouldn't carry all of it at one time. I don't know, I'm not a particularly color coordinated person. And I know that there are some people that are more, you know, like anal retentive about, you know, their like tool options and what they choose to run and stuff. Um, for me personally, for me personally, I just, um, yeah, I just grab what I want to carry on any given day and run it. So, you know, would I carry my Trayvac Summit? Yeah, I carry it. You know, there's plenty of wear and I will say, I think it's funny that, you know, just to kind of finish the video off, I think it's funny that a lot of people say that, you know, like I don't use my EDC and outside of like the two brand new tools here, this handgun and this knife, outside of those two that do not look particularly worn, um, everything else here shows a good amount of carry wear. So I don't know, a lot of people sit here and they're like, you never use your stuff you just you know showed off in videos i think it's pretty funny because it's like legitimately like you, you can't make it up you know there's like bits and pieces missing of this like black paint on this lighter and you know like the there's all kinds of carry wear on all of this stuff so anyways i'm not gonna sit here and like show you each you know like scratch and scrape and dent and damage to my edc gear um but i just think it's funny because it's like outside of the stuff that's just truthfully brand new that i just got within the last week so i haven't had much time to carry it um outside of that legitimately all this stuff gets carried and it gets worn so Anyways, guys, as always, God bless, and I'm out.